So once I deleted that, everything is back looking the way it's supposed to look. So now I'm in chapter two. I've got my heading, I've got that. And I will add the rest of this text. Oh, I will add the rest of this text in a second. All right, so let's jump back to page one. And the reason I do this is because there is not one of you in here who can say, when you create a file, it's all done in a linear fashion. You're going to jump, jump, jump all over the place. So my example is no different than real life. All right, so I'm on back to the first image page. I want to add an image here. There are several ways to, re to replace the placeholder images. If you click on it, over on the right-hand side, I'm going to click on the Image tab, and there is a Replace button. Click on Replace. It opens up a window, and I navigate to the file that I want to add. So let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go, not you. Let's go here. And one, two, three. I want to add this one. So I can choose open or double click. I'm going to double click or click choose open. Now there's, when it inserts into that bounding box, it takes on the properties of that bounding box. So that's only a portion of this image. There's much more to this image that I want to see. So if I double click on the image, it brings up commands so that I can slide the image over or mask out certain portions. Well, I'm going to start with the landscape icon in the lower left corner. It allows me to slide this image over. Now I'm going to click on the crop icon portion, and it allows me to hover over this anchor point. It changes to a double-sided arrow, and now I can open up all the way to the image. And now I'm done. I'm going to enlarge this as much as I can, and then center it just a little bit. So pretty easy. Save my work. Now I'm going to go to chapter 1, page 4. I want to change out this image as well. If I click on it, there's actually something I want you to notice. Look up where it says Chapter 1, Industry of Kauai. Do you see that icon directly to the right of the eye? That's an anchoring icon. When you see that after you click an image, it means that if this text moves, so will this image. In this particular case, and I'm going to show you how that works, I don't want this image to ever have an indication of moving. So if I go over to the right-hand side of my interface and click Arrange, I have options for it to move with the text or to stay on the page. I'm going to click on Stay on the Page, and that icon disappears. You cannot move that icon yourself. You can't go in and grab it like you can in a program like InDesign. In Pages, it moves by where the image is placed. So, and that is something to note as you're working with this. So now I've told it, stay where you are. I'm going to save my document. And now I'm going to replace this with a new image. 